back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. I hope you all had a fantastic 4th of July and a 4th of July weekend. I hope you spent good time with your friends and family. I had four days off. It was absolutely delightful, but I'm happy to be back in the studio because I had a unique experience this weekend. I saw the same screenshot about the same story shared by both people that I work with and that are on, you know, the right side of the political aisle, my more right wing friends, and by all of my old liberal friends. Like I saw it on my old like Facebook page. And this rarely happens. And if it does, it's about some very black and white political thing, like something that Biden or Trump did or didn't do. But these cultural and social issues usually stay very segmented just because of the echo chamber that so many people live in, but not this story. And we're talking about that today. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. Alrighty, so DEI is dying. Finally, thank God we've been waiting for the last three years. Now, last week, we talked about the Disney diversity executive who was exiting the company. She quit. Maybe she was pushed out. We have no idea. Exited. She exited the company and what that might mean for future Disney projects. But... I had no idea that her exit was about to start a pattern because in the last two weeks, DEI executives at four of the largest organizations in entertainment have either quit or been laid off. Like, what is going on? Everything that happened in 2020, all the black squares, everything that everybody was, you know, fighting for in Hollywood is suddenly just going away. Crazy. Here's a tweet I saw about it. Let's talk about how many of the diversity leaders have left, been laid off within the last two weeks. This is crazy. Netflix's first head of inclusion to step down after five years. They only made it to one person. They only lasted one employee. Here's another one. Film Academy's executive VP of Impact and Inclusion exits organization. So there was a meltdown online, especially because these are four black women that left or were fired. So obviously that is oppression. Somebody posted this on Instagram and said, this is beyond disturbing. I can't even process that our country is going backwards and that it's all out in the open like it ain't no thing. This is not a symbol of the country going backwards. This is a symbol of common sense of people just moving on, of you not being the center of attention. And that's not really a bad thing. Somebody else said, this is so disturbing. Again, I think that's a bit dramatic. I think we can all move on. Somebody else said, can they all get together and form a kind of super diversity company or would that be inverse diverse? What the hell is a super diversity company? I cannot believe that somebody actually tweeted this. I think this is a man. I'm taking away your man card because you tweeted that. That is stupid and that is cucked. <laughs> Somebody else said, that's cause 2020 diversity hiring was a performance act, correct. And then these companies quickly realized, especially as the economy got a little bit, yeah, these diversity employees really do not do anything but lecture employees, waste money, and in Hollywood, ruin entertainment. Cause that's what's been happening for the last few years. And newsflash, you can have a diverse workplace with employees from all different backgrounds and walks of life without having a DEI czar. We were doing it before 2020 and we can keep doing it now without this, you know, HR extracurricular is what I'm calling it. Like this is this arm of HR that is not necessary at all. Somebody else said, let me be clear. If your plan is to restructure your diversity initiatives by removing Karen Horn, your plan is to make everything exponentially worse. <laughs> Zaslov. And then this person was obviously quote tweeting the article about Warner Brothers laying off Karen Horn. Now, as a reminder, Zaslov is the CEO of Warner Brothers. And when he took on that role last July, this was reported. As David Zaslov prepared to take over Warner Brothers Discovery Inc., one of the largest media companies in the world. He told friends in Hollywood that he would hire the best people he could find. Gender and racial diversity, while a factor, would not be his top priority, he said, according to multiple people that he told. Absolutely based. But at the same time, it's stupid for me to say that this is based because it should not even be considered brave or based. This is how we always did things, and it should stay that way. It is literally common sense. Reward people and hire them based on merit. That is actually anti-racist if you actually care about not being a racist. Somebody else said, I guess all those black boxes after George Floyd was murdered were for nothing. Again, it's really dramatic, okay? Disney's DEI chief executive exited the company last week. No reasons given. Now this. Studios will likely wind down DEI operations or merge them into other departments. These initiatives are the most vulnerable in times of cost cutting and shifting priorities. Yes, exactly. You know why? Because at the end of the day, Hollywood and all of these companies are businesses and DEI does not make money. It is an expense. 
And compared to expenses like accounting, I really don't think it's very important. And when companies are cutting costs, when they are in the middle of a recession, DEI is going to go because it is not a priority because it doesn't make money. It's common sense. And yes, while it is an expense and that is obviously a factor, the culture is also starting to change. People are fed up with the artificial diversity and the corporate pandering because it's gross and it's cringe. And another positive thing, guys, it's not just Hollywood, even though this little screenshot was making the rounds over the weekend. Let's just take a look at the rest of corporate America since this past January. Three years after companies doubled down on DEI, the pendulum swings back. Here's why. DEI is falling by the wayside in corporate America, report says. Corporate America is no longer pretending to care about diversity. And that really is the perfect headline because they they didn't actually care about any of this. People were just outraged and posting things on social media, so they felt like they needed to do this. They did it, and they're hoping that people are going to ignore the fact that they are removing these parts of their company because they waste money. Thank goodness this is happening. It is corporate pandering, it is a waste of money, and it doesn't do anybody any good. Thank you for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you next time.